For the most part, in these micro lectures, we have focused on an architectural design style that uses parallel load registers. In this micro lecture, we discuss a brief alternative design style that uses shift registers instead. We want to highlight this choice because it provides a great illustration of the decisions that you will need to make as an engineer. Furthermore, shift registers provide some handy functionality. As we just mentioned, we have primarily used parallel load registers, which simply simultaneously load all eight bits of the register whenever we want to replace the contents of the register. We designed this 8-bit register with eight flip-flops that are synchronized by the clock, and we provide access to the inputs and outputs of all eight flip-flops at all times. In contrast, when we design a shift register, the register updates its contents by shifting all of its bits to the right or to the left. This first animation demonstrates a circular shift right register, where you shift all bits one position to the right and cycle the least significant bit up to the most significant bit in the register. Of course, if we want to change the bits that are stored in the register, we will need to use a different type of shift. A serial shift right register shifts the contents of all of its flip-flops one bit to the right, but it discards the least significant bit and it receives the most significant bit from a different source. We can, of course, also switch the direction of the shift and make a shift left register that shifts all bits to the left. When we design a serial shift right register, we use eight synchronized registers, but we provide only one input and one output. We also link the outputs of each flip-flop into the output of another flip-flop to perform the shift operation. Sometimes we can also create hybrid shift and parallel load registers that offer some or all the functionality of the different types of registers. The two types of registers have contrasting strengths and weaknesses. While it takes longer to update the contents of a shift register, we need to operate on only one bit at a time when we manipulate the state of the computer. So we can use simpler ALUs and architectures. This simpler architecture is slower, but it may consume less power. In contrast, the parallel load architecture may be faster, but we need to create more complicated ALUs, bus lines, and so forth. Finally, the shift operations provide some useful functions. For example, if we add a number to itself, you can see that the sum is a shifted version of the original number. So a shift left operation is actually a multiply by two operation. Conversely, a shift right operation is a divide by two operation. Because shift operations provide such additional useful functionality, most ALUs in parallel architectures also contain a shift unit in addition to the logic and arithmetic operations.